Hi everyone, hope uh, everybody's having a great day. Uh, it's finally sunny here, so I've got the light coming through the window, uh, which is great. We have had so much rain, it's been frustrating for me. But anyway, um, it is good to have the sun out and uh, I hope we're all behaving. I'm doing that six foot thing. I've got my mask, got my gloves when I go out. I'm staying safe and protecting not only myself, but our loved ones, neighbors, and friends. Uh, today, I wanna talk about face shapes, right? So there's three basic face shapes and jewelry that can work with them. So one is round, like a plate. Uh, another is sweetheart, where it truly does come like a heart. And then you have rectangular, which is what I happen to have. Now I'm wearing a round neck shirt, so I can show and display this, but you see it kind of flatters Look at me flattering myself, but it flatters the rectangular. So I get a circle going and the square coming in here. So it kind of balances. And what you want to do is either mimic your neckline <clears throat> or add to it in a very interesting way. So I'm going to show you a few examples of uh, jewelry to wear. And this plain t-shirt will let me do that beautifully for you. Um, all right, I'm going to use uh, my dear mother's pearls. But uh, anyway, so... Here we go. So I've got on a long strand. As you can see, as I step back, it just elongates me. It just brings me down further and further. So pearls used to be uh, considered, you know, always appropriate by Jackie, but there used to be lengths that women wore. So you had the choker right up here. Then you had probably a 15 inch. And then it went to intermission, matinee, and then opera. Anything below was considered opera. And so to find that, you can do it. Now, if you are round and then you have a round necklace and uh, it can it just gets you rounder and rounder. So what you might want to do if you do this, because there's two tricks here. When you're moving with the pearls, um, they tend to hook on things and you're always pulling them back together. So what about this? Instead of knotting them, which a lot of people do, then you've got this knot here in the middle of your chest. You just take, I've taken a round earring and I put that in and look. So it gives me the V, so I'm not drastic, but it gives me length too and it adds to it. And when they move, guess what? They stay right in place. So, you know, there's a couple ways to do that. And you can wear them and, and show the different uh, venues of how you want to wear them. You could knot them, of course, as I've gotten this all knotted up. Uh, you can wear them knotted and to the side. You know, you can wear them knotted as a lady dad did and wear them all the way to the back and create a choker. Uncomfortable when you're sitting back on that, by the way. But anyway, pearls, as you can see, are always great. They come in a various length. You can add um, a larinette, put it here, or you can put it at the very bottom of the drop too so that it pulls it down and keeps it in place and keeps it from swinging around. So that's it. And I had on round neckline, but you saw that the V worked in that when I connected it. Now, if you are sweetheart, you're lucky because you can wear any of those lengths. But if you're round and you've got this on, or you open a shirt collar, what you might want to do, I'm going to add a little bling here, you add this. Now, how fancy is that? So you see what you're doing here? I'm mimicking the neckline, but I've got a drop. So it gives you the round, but it also brings you down. A little bling never hurts any time anyway, does it? So there you go. And you might want to consider that. Now, if you're wearing a drop necklace, you want to be careful or any of those long pendants, you want to be careful what you're putting there. Too much drop will bring your face down, especially if you're rectangular. If you're round, you want to make sure that drop stays in here. If you have a long neck, obviously you get a bigger opportunity to wear chandeliers or anything you want. I hope these little uh, uh, hints and uh, techniques are helping you out. Clean out the jewelry drawer. Look at grandma's vintage jewelry. Try on some of that. Wear it around the house. Heck, wear it walking the dog. Let's get out there. Be social again. Be safe with those masks and gloves. And know I'll be back next week with some other tips about necklines, shirts, blouses, and maybe a dress or two. Have a great day.